You have to leave the city of your comfort and go into wilderness of your intuition. You can't get there by bus, only by hard work and risk, and by not quite knowing what you're doing. Take the skills and knowledge that John F. Kennedy Memorial High School has given you into your future endeavors. So many of us fall into the trap of pursuing the easier path because of our fear of failure. We then lose sight of what we are capable of accomplishing. Remember, the future is in your control, but it is up for you to decide if you choose risk or comfort. With that being said, inductees, take pride in all that you have accomplished. You have so much more to conquer, but for tonight, be present. Take it all in. This is not the end, but rather a milestone that you will hold close to your heart. This is the night that you will officially become members of the National Honor Society. Thank you all so much for your time and congratulations. Dr. Perry graduated from John F. Kennedy Memorial High School in 1995. He then attended Montclair State University where he graduated with a bachelor's degree in history. Shortly after, he started his teaching career here in Woodbridge Township at Avenel Middle School where he would work as a social studies teacher until 2012. Dr. Perry received his master's degree in education administration from Kane University in 2007. After a successful tenure as a teacher, Dr. Perry became the vice principal of Avenel Middle School in 2013. He would serve in that position until July 2014 when he was appointed to be the principal of Ford's Middle School. During his seven years at Ford's Middle School, Dr. Perry worked to improve school climate, upgrade facilities, improve student achievement, and increase participation in the music program. Professionally, he obtained his doctorate in educational leadership from Rutgers University and also works with the New Jersey Principal and Supervisors Association to mentor new school leaders. Dr. Perry is also a professor in the Educational Leadership Master's degree program at William Peterson University. Dr. Perry returned home to JFK in November 2021 after his appointment as principal. He lives in Middletown, New Jersey with his wife and three children. Dr. Perry believes wholeheartedly that the work of educators is critical to the current and future success of our great nation and consistently reminds his staff to keep fighting the good fight. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce our principal, Dr. James Perry. Thank you, R.A., for letting everyone know how old I am. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Uh, it's great to see everyone here tonight, uh, see, our, see you supporting our students as uh, we celebrate their induction into the National Honor Society. We do have a few special guests I'd first like to thank for joining us, Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Massimino, and Board of Education members, Ms. Anderson and Mr. Harris. Thank you for being here. Um, I'd like to thank you for the efforts to maneuver us on our district through the many hurdles and challenges of the past year as we've worked towards getting things back to normal. We're not all the way there yet, but we've come so far and everybody's here today, so I thank you for that. I'd also like to thank Ms. Karowski and her National Honor Society faculty committee for making tonight possible. I can't imagine that it's easy uh, to select the students that represent the very best of a high school that is the very best. Induction into the National Honor Society is special. It means that you've embodied the pillars of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. You've maintained high levels of academic achievement through rigorous courses and difficult exams. Many of you load your schedules up with advanced placement classes. Some of you take block zero classes that occur before the actual school day even begins. And while the level of scholarship found amongst our members and inductees is impressive, I've been blown away by the level of character and leadership you've demonstrated in my short time as your principal. As I look around at our inductees today and our current members, I'm reminded of the way you advocate for yourselves to create new clubs and initiatives, you take it upon yourself to schedule meetings with me when you see something you believe should be changed. And while it's cliche to say that you're going to be the leaders of tomorrow, I will contend that you are the leaders of today. 
But perhaps most important and most impressive, and this has always been important to me, uh, it's the way you serve others in your community. I believe that the NHS pillar of service is far and away what separates you all here tonight from your peers. We have 1,350 students at JFK, and many of them are high-achieving students. Many of them have good character. The students you see here tonight on stage and in the audience have met the requirements necessary for National Honor Society induction. You've washed cars to help township residents affected by storms. You've donated socks to homeless people. You carry this selflessness over to other clubs that you're involved in, like the National, uh, like, I'm sorry, the American Cancer Society and initiatives like Autism Awareness. You serve your community in countless ways on your own and with your families. And finally, you've managed to uphold all these standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character through a pandemic where you faced unprecedented difficulty. You watched as COVID numbers rose and fell but you remain steady, and you maintained high levels of academic excellence, character, and leadership throughout. You found ways to go outside the school and serve your community when they needed you most. Parents, I have three children. My two boys are twins. They're in 11th grade. They're going through the National Honor Society application process right now. I know it isn't easy. I've seen firsthand how difficult the past two years have been. I've seen frustration. I know and empathize what you've been through. Kids, you're all amazing, and tonight's about you, but the people sitting around you deserve a little bit of credit, too. So can we please have a round of applause for all the families that have supported you? Here? <laughs> Parents and guardians, thank you for sending us these wonderful young people. I'm so proud of all of you. Congratulations to everyone. At this time, I'd like to introduce Maitri Bupakkar, who will introduce our superintendent of schools. Carmen and teachers, for supporting her and coming this far in life. Antra Jane. Antra would like to thank her mom and sister for always encouraging her to do her best. She would also like to thank Mrs. Pakshal and Mrs. McNulla and her parents for their constant motivation and support. Teacher, sister, Moksha, family, for always guiding her and believing in her. Ayu Nandagarthi. and repeat after me. I pledge myself to uphold, I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of National Honor Society to which I have been selected, striving in every way, striving in every way by word and deed, by word and deed to make its ideals, to make its ideals the ideals of my school, the ideals of my school and of my life. I will be loyal to my school. I will be loyal to my school. And will maintain and encourage. And will maintain and encourage. High standards of. High standards of. Scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Scholarship, service, leadership, and character. I pledge to maintain my high scholastic standing. I pledge to maintain my high scholastic standing. To hold as fundamental and worthy. To hold as fundamental and worthy. An untarnished character. Character. To endeavor intelligently and courageously. To endeavor intelligently and courageously. To be a leader. To be a leader. And to give myself freely in service to others. To give myself freely in service to others. In so doing, I shall prove myself worthy. In so doing, I shall prove myself worthy. Of a place in the National Honor Society. Of a place in the National Honor Society. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present the John F. Kennedy Memorial High School National Honor Society Class of 2020. 